become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Now we are going to discuss about a new feature uh, which was recently added in PV Lead, the latest version PV25. So what this new feature is, this is addition of blast load. When we are talking about blast load, what do you mean by that? Let us assume that if there is any uh, site location where the equipment has been placed and because of some reason, if any blast in that plant taken place, so because of that, there will be some waves which will be generated in the form of, let's say the wind velocities will be on the higher side. So because of that, there will be certain pressure developed. So that pressure is called as a pressure caused by blast load. So because of that load, what are the loads which are coming on the supports and whether the supports are designed for that? For this purpose, this new feature has been added. Earlier, this feature was available for analysis of vertical vessels. But now this has also been added in PVL25 for horizontal vessels as well. So basically what happens whenever any blast takes place, there will be a wind wave which will be generated. And that wave will be going to have an impact upon your pressure vessel. And that vessel will be facing higher loads. So its foundation and the attachment needs to be designed for the same. So how to do it in PV lead? So let's say I have opened PV lead, PV lead 25, PV 25. In that we have to go into the wind data. So whatever the wind velocity, wind area or base elevation, wind zone number, risk factor, uh, as per the site location, you have to enter over here so that the software will perform the wind load calculation. But this is nothing to do with the blast load. So for a blast load, you can see over here, there are three dots. So on these three dots, you have to click upon. So once you open this, new tab will open. In this new window, you can see at the downside, there is a blast load data which has been asked. So what we need to do is we have to click upon vessel subjected to the blast loads. Let us assume because of this, let's say 0.2 bar or 0.2 kg per centimeter square. This is what the pressure which will be getting generated. If you don't know the value, then it must be given in your uh, specification of that particular project or the procedure must have been given in the specification how to calculate the blast load. So let us assume the value is 0.2 kg per centimeter square. So here, if we have to enter the load value or the uh, blast load pressure, you can see the unit is kg per meter square, not kg per centimeter square. So 0.2 kg per uh, centimeter square, it will be 2000 kg per meter square. 2000 kg per meter square is what the pressure which will be generated because of that. So shape factor. So let's say the shape factor, it depends upon the size and shape of the equipment. Let us assume it is one. It can be 1.2, it can be 0 0.7, 0 0.8. It all depends upon the shape as well as the height of the equipment. So let us say we are having 1.2 as the shape factor. Now we have to click on OK and then we have to go into the analysis and we have to run the analysis. So let's say after analysis, the report will be generated. And in that report, along with your operating and hydro test support design load cases, you will also see that one more case has been added which is for the blast load. Yes, now we are ready with the report. First, we should understand where this blast load has been considered. So first, we have to go into the wind load calculations. As you can see over here, in the first part, you can see the wind load calculations as per IS 875, and that is for various node numbers. And after that, you can see the blast load pressure. So whatever blast load pressure we have applied, 2000 kg per meter square and the shape factor, according to which the force will be 
calculated how the force will be calculated pressure multiplied by the area and what is the area the exposed area which is nothing but the diameter and the height to which this is going to be have an impact upon so here we can see uh, this blast pressure is kg per meter square and then we have to multiply it with the exposed area so that we will get the element load force and this blast load force will be calculated for all the components so after this we have to get into the blast load calculations you can see it from here as well so if i click over here blast load calculations then we will be able to view the report so here you can see whatever the stresses which have been developed in the vessel because of this particular blast load will be indicated over here what is the tangential shear stress in shell 49 mpa and what is the circumferential stress at the horn of the saddle it is 37 so are these having the same values as if it would have been for the operating case let us check that because of the wind loads what are the stresses uh, those have been coming or during operation what are the loads which has been coming so you can see here the circumferential stress at the horn of the saddle was only 3.46 mpa but that for the blast load case has been significantly increased based upon the blast load pressure it is now 37 mpa so the rest of the calculation will remain the same uh, the software will perform the calculation as per zig method calculate the various stresses develop in the shell at various regions at the mid span at the horn of the saddle longitudinal stresses in the mid span so all these procedure will be as per zig method so here the summary also you can be able to see and then of course the saddle design calculation as per dennis moss so this is how this blast load calculation needs to be worked out so where we have to give the information we have to go into the wind data and then wind design code there are three dots there we have to provide this information so i hope you found this information uh, very important vital and this is going to help you in your day-to-day -day design activities